Welcome to the Bible in 365 Days. This is episode 73, and I'll be reading Judges chapters 9 and 10. Chapter 9 And Abimelech the son of Jerubal went to Shechem, and to his mother's brethren, and communed with them, and with all the family of the house of his mother's father, saying, Speak, I pray you, in the ears of all the men of Shechem, whether is better for you, either all the sons of Jerubal, which are threescore and ten persons, reign over you, or that one reign over you. Remember also that I am your bone and your flesh. And his mother's brethren spake of him in the ears of all the men of Shechem all these words. And their hearts inclined to follow Abimelech, for they said, He is our brother. And they gave him three score and ten pieces of silver out of the house of Balbereth, wherewith Abimelech hired vain and light persons which followed him. And he went unto his father's house of Oprah, and slew his brethren the sons of Jerubal, being threescore and ten persons, unto one stone. Notwithstanding yet Jotham, the youngest son of Jerubal, was left, for he hid himself. And all the men of Shechem gathered together, and all the house of Milo, and went, and made Abimelech king, by the plain of the pillar that was in Shechem. And when they told it to Jotham, he went and stood in the top of Mount Gerizim, and lifted up his voice and cried, and said unto them, Hearken unto me, ye men of Shechem, that God may hearken unto you. The trees went forth on a time to anoint a king over them, and they said unto the olive tree, Reign thou over us. But the olive tree said unto them, Should I leave my fatness, wherewith by me they honor God and man, and go to be promoted over the trees? And the trees said to the fig tree, Come thou, and reign over us. But the fig tree said unto them, Should I forsake my sweetness and my good fruit, and go to be promoted over the trees? Then said the trees unto the vine, Come thou, and reign over us. And the vine said unto them, Should I leave my wine, which cheereth God and man, and go to be promoted over the trees? Then said all the trees unto the bramble, Come thou, and reign over us. And the bramble said unto the trees, If in truth ye anoint me king over you, then come and put your trust in my shadow. And if not, let fire come out of the bramble and devour the cedars of Lebanon. Now therefore, if ye have done truly and sincerely, in that ye have made Abimelech king, and if ye have dealt well with Jerubal and his house, and have done unto him according to the deserving of his hands, for my father fought for you and adventured his life far, and delivered you out of the hand of Midian. And ye are risen up against my father's house this day, and have slain his sons, threescore and ten persons, upon one stone, and have made Abimelech the son of his maidservant, king over the men of Shechem, because he is your brother. If ye then have dealt truly and sincerely with Jerubal, and with his house this day, then rejoice ye in Abimelech, and let him also rejoice in you. But if not, let fire come out from Abimelech, and devour the men of Shechem and the house of Milo, and let fire come out from the men of Shechem and from the house of Milo, and devour Abimelech. And Jotham ran away and fled and went to Beer, and dwelt there, for fear of Abimelech his brother. When Abimelech had reigned three years over Israel, then God sent an evil spirit between Abimelech and the men of Shechem, and the men of Shechem dealt treacherously with Abimelech, that the cruelty done to the threescore and ten sons of Jerubal might come, and their blood be laid upon Abimelech their brother which slew them, and upon the men of Shechem which aided him in the killing of his brethren. And the men of Shechem set liars in wait for him in the top of the mountains, and they robbed all that came along that way by them, and it was told Abimelech. And Gaul, the son of Abed, came with his brethren, and went over to Shechem, and the men of Shechem put their confidence in him. And they went out into the fields, and gathered vineyards, and trod the grapes, and made merry, and went into the house of their god, and did eat and drink, and cursed Abimelech. And Gaul, the son of Abed, said, Who is Abimelech, and who is Shechem, that we should serve him? Is not he the son of Jerubal, 
and Zubul, his officer, Serve the men of Hamor, the father of Shechem, for why should we serve him? And would to God this people were under my hand, then would I remove Abimelech. And he said to Abimelech, Increase thine army and come out. And when Zebul, the ruler of the city, heard the words of Gaul, the son of Ebed, his anger was kindled. And he sent messengers unto Abimelech privately, saying, Behold, Gaul the son of Abed and his brethren be come to Shechem, and behold, they fortify the city against thee. Now therefore, up by night, thou and the people that is with thee, and lie in wait in the field. And it shall be that in the morning, as soon as the sun is up, thou shalt rise early, and set upon the city. And behold, when he and the people that is with him come out against thee, then mayest thou do to them as thou shalt find occasion." And Abimelech rose up, and all the people that were with him, by night, and they laid wait against Shechem in four companies. And Gaul the son of Abed went out, and stood in the entering of the gate of the city. And Abimelech rose up, and the people that were with him, from lying in wait. And when Gaul saw the people, he said to Zebul, Behold, there come people down from the top of the mountains. And Zebul said unto him, Thou seest the shadow of the mountains, as if they were men. And Gaul spake again, and said, See, there come people down by the middle of the land, and another company come along by the plain of Minonium. Then said Zebum unto him, Where is now thy mouth, wherewith thou saidest, Who is Abimelech, that we should serve him? Is not this the people that thou hast despised? Go out, I pray now, and fight with him. And Gaul went out before the men of Shechem and fought with Abimelech. And Abimelech chased him, and he fled before him. And many were overthrown and wounded, even unto the entering of the gate. And Abimelech dwelt in Aruma, and Zebul thrust out Gaul and his brethren, that they should not dwell in Shechem. And it came to pass on the morrow that the people went out into the field, and they told Abimelech. And he took the people and divided them into three companies, and laid wait in the field, and looked, and behold, the people were come forth out of the city, and he rose up against them, and smote them. And Abimelech and the company that was with him rushed forward, and stood in the entering of the gate of the city, and the two other companies ran upon all the people that were in the fields, and slew them. And Abimelech fought against the city all that day, and he took the city, and slew the people that were therein, and beat down the city, and sowed it with salt. And when all the men of the tower of Shechem heard that, they entered into an hold of the house of the god Bareth. And it was told Abimelech that all the men of the tower of Shechem were gathered together. And Abimelech got him up to Mount Zalman, he and all the people that were with him. And Abimelech took an axe in his hand, and cut down a bow from the trees, and took it, and laid it on his shoulder, and said unto the people that were with him, What ye have seen me do, make haste, and do as I have done. And all the people likewise cut down every man his bow, and followed Abimelech, and put them to the hold, and set the hold on fire upon them, so that all the men of the tower of Shechem died also, about a thousand men and women." Then went Abimelech to Thebes, and encamped against the bees, and took it. But there was a strong tower within the city, and thither fled all the men and women, and all they of the city, and shut it to them, and gat them up to the top of the tower. And Abimelech came into the tower, and fought against it, and went hard into the door of the tower to burn it with fire. And a certain woman cast a piece of millstone upon Abimelech's head, and all to break his skull. Then he called hastily unto the young man his armor-bearer, and said unto him, Draw thy sword and slay me, that men say not of me a woman slew him. And his young man thrust him through, and he died. And when the men of Israel saw that Abimelech was dead, they departed every man unto his place. Thus God rendered the wickedness of Abimelech, which he did unto his father, in slaying his seventy brethren. And all the evil of the men of Shechem did God render unto their heads, and upon them came the curse of Jotham, the son of Jerubal. Chapter 10 And after Abimelech there rose to defend Israel, Tola the son of Puah, the son of Dodo, 
a man of Iskar, and he dwelled in Shamir in Mount Ephraim, and he judged Israel twenty and three years and died, and was buried in Shamir, and after him arose Jair, a Gileadite, and judged Israel twenty and two years, and he had thirty sons that rode on thirty ass colts, and they had thirty cities, which are called Hoveth Jair unto this day, which are in the land of Gilead. And Jair died and was buried in Cammon. And the children of Israel did evil again in the sight of the Lord, and served Balim and Ashtaroth, and the gods of Syria, and the gods of Sidon, and the gods of Moab, and the gods of the children of Ammon, and the gods of the Philistines, and forsook the Lord and served him not. And the anger of the Lord was hot against Israel, and he sold them into the hands of the Philistines, and into the hands of the children of Ammon. And that year they vexed and oppressed the children of Israel eighteen years, all the children of Israel that were on the other side of Jordan in the land of the Amorites, which is Gilead. Moreover, the children of Ammon passed over Jordan to fight also against Judah and against Benjamin and against the house of Ephron, so that Israel was sore distressed. And the children of Israel cried unto the Lord, saying, We have sinned against thee, both because we have forsaken our God and also served Balaam. And the Lord said unto the children of Israel, Did not I deliver you from the Egyptians and from the Amorites, from the children of Ammon and from the Philistines? The Zidonians also and the Amalekites and the Moanites did oppress you, and ye cried to me, and I delivered you out of their hand. Yet you have forsaken me and served other gods. Wherefore, I will deliver you no more. Go and cry unto the gods which you have chosen. Let them deliver you in the time of your tribulation. And the children of Israel said unto the Lord, We have sinned. Do thou unto us whatsoever seemeth good unto thee. Deliver us only, we pray thee this day. And they put away the strange gods from among them and served the Lord. And his soul was grieved for the misery of Israel. Then the children of Ammon were gathered together and encamped in Gilead, and the children of Israel assembled themselves together and encamped in Mizpah. And the people and the princes of Gilead said to one another, What man is he that will begin to fight against the children of Ammon? He shall be head over all the inhabitants of Gilead. This concludes episode 73. Everyone have a blessed day.